Alright, welcome back guys, this is where we left last time, we've got that grill part here done um, that's probably on a separate object we've got called body, we'll call that grill um, what we'll do now is work on these next couple of events I'll pull up a reference image here to show you what we're doing um, we'll do this one here today and we'll map out where we're going to put this looks like a sort of CPU fan type thing in here um, it's fairly easy to get this one here done. Um, that one there's a bit trickier. I'm um, still not too much of a problem. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to our body and just map out roughly where you want to put these vents. You can see I've just left a, a gap of one in between these. Um, that's going to be the circular one with a hole through there. And this one here will make up our next panel. Um, so once again, let's make a copy of our body, get rid of all that junk there that we don't want, and we'll get rid of all those tags again, and I can actually deselect all these, because it's just mapping out where I was going to place the next one, so we're going to select the inverse again, delete and we'll jump into points mode and optimize it so select all and optimize which gives us that there <coughs> now what we are going to do is place a couple of cuts across here so we'll jump into a good view where we can see what we're doing Try and get it roughly front on for the camera. Alright, we'll grab our knife tool and we'll loop cut again. And we just want to go straight across there about halfway up. Um, so 50, undo that, it hasn't gone right the way across, and same again down here at the bottom, uh, 50 again and we'll cut that, now what we're going to do is select these polygons here um, spin around it will turn off the body so we can see what we're doing um, what we're going to do is just extrude these ones back that looks good to me <laughs> that's about 57, 58 something like that um, uh, once again, just to create the angle in it, we're just going to weld these points across. Um, we've done that plenty of times, so select that point and that point. Weld, and we'll weld that at the front. And the same for that one there. the front here um, you could leave it like that what I'm actually going to do as well that point up to there as well select those that one to there on the other side. 
<coughs> which is uh, you probably can't get to it because that panel's got in the way, so let's jump around to the back and do it. That one to there. And that's created <coughs> that shape roughly what we're after. You can weld it all the way up to there. Um, jump back to our body now. Turn him on. And uh, for polygon mode, if you still like those ones there, select or deselect those. So, control across there. So we've got those polygons just there, and we'll delete those. Um, that turns on our grill with our slot up. And you can see that's what we're after there. So that was none too difficult. Um, we'll just map out these polygons for the next vent, ready for the next tutorial. Um, you might as well cut those out now so we'll go from the middle um, just to find the middle of my object again probably easy to do it in front view um, if you ever lost as to where it is um, we're using this green line up here because we haven't moved any of these objects around so you can just follow that front line up there and I'm going to go three either side of that and we're going up to the same height as this one here, so up to there. And up to there, we'll make a duplicate of that. Get rid of all those, and those tags across there. Um, invert that selection again. And delete, so that's going to be our square shape for the next vent. Um, here, that's those polygons around the outside. Uh, we're going to use a bull to put a hole in that, and then we're going to create a little fan thing that will go on the inside. Um, I've still a minute or two left, so I'll actually grab a bull and put that in there. So, objects, primitive cylinder. Uh, I mean, he's in there somewhere. Um, turn off the body so we can see what we're doing. off that hole bit there. Um, so obviously we want it here on the z-axis um, so we'll drag him down and we'll work out the size for him. Just coming into this panel here. Um, He's too thin at the moment, so we'll um, change that radius. Here's 150, look. Too big. 130 is still too large, so we'll go 100. There we go, so we want to centre that roughly on there. Um, Create a boolean object, and we want to subtract the cylinder from the body, like so, which gives us our hole there. Uh, so next tutorial, we'll come in and we'll make a fan. Um, so, see you then.